Hey guys, welcome to or back to my channel. My name is Tina, and nice to see you. If you want and you would like to be, please hit that subscribe button as well as hitting the notification icon so you know when I upload. It's been a while, but we're doing another Black Milk Clothing Haul review. This time we're doing the most recent launch, the Barbie launch. Let's get into it. As you can see here, we have the Barbie Daisy Me Up button me up top. It has this adorable little color. The daisies are adorable and the buttons are covered. So this top was $69 and I got it in the size 8. With this top, I would recommend sticking to your true size and not really sizing up or down. I think this top is absolutely adorable. I love the pale blueness of it and it's really lightweight and breezy, so it's going to be absolutely perfect for summer. However, the only thing I don't really like is how sheer it is, which is a theme I have noticed with Black Milk's button up tops. They do tend to be quite sheer, which I kind of wish they were a little bit less sheer, <laughs> but that's just a preference. Overall though, I would rate the top an 8 out of 10. It does lose points because of the sheerness. But this is the Hot Pink Hoy City Stockings. I absolutely love these stockings. They're $29 each and they are currently sold out. However, you can sign up for their restock and I highly, highly, highly recommend you do so. I'm going to do it because I want to get a second pair for when these pair do wear out. Wear out? wear out. That's it. <laughs> now these are one size fits all and they are $29 however I promise you they're worth the price. I have the black pair which I wear pretty much every outfit and let me tell you they are so durable. I have a puppy with the sharpest of claws and she is constantly jumping up at me and I haven't ripped. It's amazing. It's a miracle. Plus I wear them on really hot days and they're not overheating and on cold days they keep me warm. I don't really understand the science of it, but it works. So I'm so excited when I saw they had these in pink and also in the blue, which I did get. <laughs> I rate the stockings a 10 out of 10. They're my absolute favorite. I will show you the blue ones, which I do rate a 9 out of 10 just because I do like the pink better. But these are the blue ones. So these are the blue ones and they are still really, really cute. Now this is the Fusion Barbie Furbalicious Jacket. I hope I'm saying that right. It is $139.00. Yes, $139. This is in a size 6. It is also not mine. It's my mother's that she's letting me wear. And as you can see, it is this stunning fuchsia pink. The inside is a smooth white material with Barbie written on it. And it does have these little hooks as buttons. However, it does not have pockets. You would think for $139, they would have pockets. Especially since it's black milk, which have pockets and everything. It does not have pockets. <laughs> I will say, though, it is a very, very, very warm warm jacket. Quality wise it is really good quality aside from no pockets. I would rate it an 8 out of 10 however it's just not my style and I don't like how boxy it makes me feel and you can also see little fluffies are going everywhere. <laughs> it's shedding um, but yeah I don't like how boxy it makes me feel. I think if it was a little less square on the shoulders and boxy I would like it a lot more and I'd probably rate it a 7 out of 10 but it's not. So I am actually going to rate it a 4 out of 10. I am so sorry. Now this is the Hex Color Long Sleeve Mini Evil Skater Dress. Say that 10 times fast. And it is absolutely adorable. I am completely in love with the colors of this dress. I really prefer the minis over the long line dresses. Because I like the length that comes up to on my legs. And again, for reference, I am 5'4". Two things to note though. Number one, there are no pockets. Black milk. Where are the pockets? I'm used to having pockets on my dresses. And number two, I am not the biggest fan of the turtleneck dress. I do kind of wish it was a little bit lower cut. I almost actually didn't get the dress because of the turtleneck. I kept looking at it. I was like, hmm, I like it, but that turtleneck. But I did end up going with it, and I am very glad that I did because it is so adorable. I actually ended up wearing this dress out the other day, and if I'm able to, I will put a picture from my Instagram up here. Go follow it. <laughs> this dress was $99 and I did get it in a size extra small and I I love this dress so much. It is so pretty, so elegant. I love it so much. If you have the chance, I highly, highly, highly recommend getting it. I actually do have the leggings in this style as well. So this print is one of my absolute favorites. I would rate this dress a 9 out of 10. It would have been a 10 out of 10, but just the little turtleneck and also no pockets. <laughs> Second to last, we had the Barbie Mermaid tennis dress. This is a size small, and again, it is not my dress, it's my mum's. I do love the adorable color scheme of this dress. It does feel really lightweight and flowy as well, so this again will be perfect for summer. However, 
It doesn't have pockets. I think I might have it on backwards though. But anyway, this dress was $109 and it is really, really pretty and I do like the colors of it. It's not really my style. So I am only gonna rate this a five out of 10. Nothing really wrong with the dress. It's just not really my style. And last but not least, we have the Astronaut Barbie motocross suit. And I will be honest, I am a little confused if this is supposed to be a swimsuit or not. It does have very swimsuit material, but I don't think it's a swimsuit. This is incredibly detailed as you can see. This is a size small and not an extra small because again, it's not mine. But aside from that, it does fit really well. A little bit loose in some areas like the arms, but aside from that, it does fit really well. I am wearing shorts for modesty, but it does come up to me about here, the uh, little, little part, I'm not sure what to call it. <laughs> this is what the back of it looks like. It's pretty cool. Now this is $99 and although it is really, really cool and detailed, I am a bit confused. Uh, it feels like it's a swimsuit, but I don't think it is a swimsuit. If it is a swimsuit, then it's a great swimsuit. If it's not a swimsuit, uh, I'm kind of worried that if you wore this on a reasonably warm day, that it would feel like when you wear a swimsuit but don't go swimming and how <laughs> sweaty and uncomfortable you get very quickly. So hopefully that isn't the case, but that's kind of the vibe I'm getting from this, which if that is the case, sucks. <laughs> Aside from that, I will rate this a 6 out of 10 just because the material is throwing me off. It, it's like it wants to be a swimsuit, but it's not a swimsuit unless it is a swimsuit and I just don't realise. <laughs> that is all for this video. I did also notice that my red bag has been down the whole time, so sorry if that was annoying you. But let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought of this launch, what your favourite item was, did you get anything from this launch? Me personally, this dress plus the pink stockings are my absolute favourite items. They're actually maybe one of my two favourite items out of all my black mug items. Definitely top five. That is all for this video. If you liked it, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe, as well as hit the notification icon so you know when I upload. Hope to see you guys all really soon. Be safe, everyone. Bye!